So now we need a logout button. Logout button will allow us to just log the user out in case they don't want to be on their account anymore. So let's go right into here and do that. We'll go into our home view controller. We want to import Firebase. Perfect. And then we are just going to be doing the exact same thing that we had done earlier. So what we're going to be doing, we'll create that auth object. So just our auth dot auth. Perfect. And then we are just going to do a do try. So just our, we're just going to try and make sure we can sign out the user. Otherwise, we are going to present the error like we have been in our sign in and our sign up views. So just do do. And then we are going to do auth dot sign out. So this could be this could throw an error based on something with your internet connection or if something happens with Firebase or Google. This could throw an error and not allow you to sign out. There's definitely other reasons. And then we want to do a catch. So we will let our sign out error as error. And then what we want to do is we actually want to present. Again, we want to call our service dot custom error or create alert controller. And we want the title to be error. And we want our sign out error. Perfect. Oh, and we do need to unwrap that and make it a localized description. You might not have to unwrap this as we've actually called it an error. You could just delete that. All right, there, that should be good. True, nil, and then. Perfect. All right, we are good to go. So we have now, oh, I'm going to actually fix this. Pretty big on camel casing, as you can see, you can do whatever you want. That's just something I'm really a fan of. All right, so now we can actually go and try this, see if the user will actually log out. The only thing is, if the user does, so once they log out, we're still going to be in that same view. What we want to do here, so since we're presenting our actual, since we're presenting the home view controller, we can simply just dismiss it. Since if we look at the parent hierarchy, we our root view controller will always be our welcome view. And then on top of that, we present our home view controller. And so if we ever dismiss that home view controller, it'll dismiss it and go back to our welcome view. Since we're not working with root view controllers and we're not actually setting up the way you would in a production application. So if we build and run this, our app should pop up to the home view controller, but then when we tap log out, it'll dismiss our view. So you can watch that quick little bop and then perfect. Here's something that we forgot to do. If we build and run this again, our view will be that home view controller. You can try it, you might get an error if you click the logout button. What we want to do is we actually need to set that default variable again to false because the user is signed out. So if we let default equals user default, you could have created a global variable for default if you wanted. I'm not going to, and then we're going to set false, and then is user signed in. Perfect. Let's try this again. Perfect. All right. And actually, no, it worked. But now that we've actually set the variable to false, if we build and run one more time, this should work. All right. This should look good. And perfect. All right, so it did not present because we changed our user defaults variable for is user signed in to false. And now we have completed the functionality of signing in, signing up, and logging out a user. Now what we need to do here in the next video we're going to be working on is we're actually going to jump into the database start of this. So if a user signs in, I know we're not storing their full name anywhere, what we want to do is we want to actually take that name, put it into their account, and store that into the database in Firebase. That's what we'll learn in the next video. And then from there, we'll continue on to actually creating a profile for the user. So thanks for watching. We smash that like button. Check out Habit on the App Store.
and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you guys in the next tutorial